So guys, um, well, we had no frost last night and um, I think it went down to four degrees or something for a couple of hours and then around six o'clock the sun was out and it went straight up to 10 and yep. So I know, I know some of you guys probably had frost last night but I'm just walking around to see if we had any damage from the four degrees but I, I believe four degrees should be okay uh, these are almost ready to pick got some um, insect damage but I only got three this year and this is my Moro blood orange go to um, I've already picked all my kumquats, got two left and a few pan over here. I've got some uh, clementines there, so one looks slightly rotten but they'll be alright. Looking at the figs, these are um, Blanchidae Orgendil This one over here is the Lamberia Preta I've got the Dauphine Dauphine is a really excellent fig for our climate That Quite a lot And Yeah, Brave us uh, doing quite well this year um, This is the Variety called Nazareth. This is a variety I found from a um, bloke in London. Um, so he brought it over to the UK from Sodia in Cyprus. I think it's one of the area where they had a conflict or something. Uh, this one over here is a Negron. We're doing quite well with uh, the Braba crop this year. You can see it's everywhere. This one over here, up there, is the Regato del Salento. Come over here, this is my Aishia Black. Aishia Black. And again, Aishia Black. Um, this one over here is Adriatic Church. Um, I think it's just strawberry word, but hey ho, that's what it's called. Um, uh, I can't really get over there. I'm uh, gradually moving all my figs to the allotment. I already moved like 50 pots, so these are only the remaining ones at home. Uh, I went over the plot this morning and everything looks fine there. This one over here is my Brogiotto Fiorentino. Um, this over here is a really rare striped Fracanzano. I just don't want to talk much about it, but that's what it is if you know what it is. This over here is a Beautiful Italian fig called Maranese. Oh, I just want to show you my fig tree, sorry, apple tree, red love, Calypso. That. Absolutely covered in blossom this year. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we shall see some nice crop. Sorry about that. Uh, this over here, I think it's another Marinese or it could be Monaco. Monaco. Uh, up there, we got Maltese Falcon and Nero 600M. This is my. Um, that's a cherry, uh, I forgot the name. 
I think Jerry. Um, Bloody hell. A few fig trees here. Pastelieri, uh, Delabat, Dalmati. This over here is Califor Blue, although I think it's uh, exactly the same as Negroni. And you know what they are. These are some apple trees over there. I'll just take you there anyway. This is my favorite apple tree. Um, it's orange red. And this over here is beautiful fig, Turkish variety called Bea Sorak. This over here is my mulberry. Um, it's just a black mulberry from Italy, that's the name. I'm not, sure, I'm not even sure if there's a variety like that, it's just called Nero. But one thing I know, it's huge and it's beautiful, absolutely delicious. Oh, the cherry is Morello. Down there. So, not a lot going on here at the minute. I've got about 20 feet or 30 feet trees in the greenhouse. Um, yeah, more citrus. This one I got from Lupaya. Uh, it's a red, red lemon, red flushed lemon. A few are there. These ones are going in the ground. And yep, they're all doing well. They need, um, I already gave them some. Um, Warm castings and a high nitrogen fertilizer, so they're picking back, picking up. As you can see, they go. Some of them go fruits coming up for this year. Uh, hopefully, you'll see some fruits and more production next year. This over here, if you remember, is a peach tree I bought from Lidl about four years ago, and it's still in that pot, and it's going in ground in a couple of weeks. It's a beautiful variety. I hacked it because uh, it was getting in my way and I need to move it to the allotment anyway. This over here is a persimmon. Variety is called the Fuyu persimmon. It's covered in blossom uh, because they, they flower quite late so they're not susceptible to frost and it's just a good thing for our climate. Uh, this over here is a variety called Chocolatino. It hasn't flowered this year. Oh, hang on. It got some. And this over here is a variety called Aroma. Uh, for some reason they all got blossom, but we'll see if they will come to anything. And this over here is, uh, I got one fruit of it last year called Tipo, Kaki Tipo. And uh, actually, this one with the blossom, uh, it's not chocolate, it's a variety called Nikita's Gift. It's a hybrid between American and Japanese uh, persimmon. This over here with no blossom is a chocolatino, so it got apparently it got a chocolate flesh. And this is my. Um, uh, Flame grape wine. I got a few grapes which I might take off, but I'm trying to train them along this fence all the way up to the um, shed like that, so it will look it's the south facing, so we're nice and productive in this little corner. Okay.